Soma kofi mazuri Tana wana Hallelujah Geukia mtu alie karibu na wewe mpatia I5 muambia leo ni leo Muambia leo tunahenda kiwango ingine Muambia shetani ya meshindo Na ufalme wake wote Salimia mungine muambia wewe umebarikiwa sana Muambia uwezi kuja ibada ya leo Na ukabaki mtu asie na baraka Mwambia pokea baraka ndiyo hizo Let us show our love to our papa The apostle kwa makofi mazuri Hallelujah Hiyo ijatosha kabisa Unaezo kongezia shangwe Hallelujah Show your love to our mommy Susan please Hallelujah Show your love to our pastors Pastor Israel, Pastor Judy Pastor Charles, Pastor Priscilla be confused, be connected. Please show your love to our church. Eh? We are above and above only. As you celebrate them, I prophesy in the name of Jesus. You too shall be celebrated in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Ina kutangazia kwa vile ambavyo umesherekea hiyo meema na hiyo mafuta kwa hii madhabao. Utakuwa mtu wa kwanza kwenu kufurahiwa na kupigiwa makofi. Amen. Appreciate our viewers all over the world. Now we are in Gia Kwafujo. God bless you so much in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, Stephen Narunga, for tuning in. Please, when you're tuning, let us know where you're watching us from. Please share the broadcast. Tag your friends, and God is going to bless you in Jesus' mighty name.
Appreciate yourself na upate kiti chako. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for coming. You have come here to meet uh, your blessing. You have come here to collect your blessing. You have come here to be blessed. Something is about to happen in your life. Whether the devil likes it or not, whether witches likes it or not, but something must happen in your life today. Amen. Hallelujah. Ni ruhusu dakika chache sana nifundishe 10 keys to maintain your blessings. 10 keys to maintain blessings. 10 keys to maintain blessings. Kanisa hii tumejaliwa kuwa na baraka nyingi. Lakini ni wachache wako na uwezo wa kukalisha hizo ile baraka ambazo wanazipokea. And I want to believe ya kwamba after this teaching you will be a candidate of a blessing in Jesus name. Kwa sababu hakuna siku nyingine utapoteza baraka ambayo utakamata kwa hii madhabahu. Sema amina niendelee. Amina. Ten keys on how to maintain your blessings. Kupokea baraka si ngumu. Ile ngumu ni kuikalisha. Kupokea mafuta si ngumu. Ile ngumu ni kukalisha mafuta. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kuokoka si ngumu. Ile ngumu ni kukalisha wokovu. Na watu wanasema hakika huyu mtu ameokoka. Na kwa sababu ya watu wengi ambao tulio church kwa kutokujua njizi ya kukalisha vitu za Mungu. Chochote huwa tunapata kwa Mungu hiyo ndio inaitangwa baraka. Amen. Uponyaji wa Mungu ni baraka. Amina. Amen. Amen. Kupata shamba ya mungu, kupitia kwa mtumishi wa Mungu ni baraka. Kupata masomo ni baraka ya Mungu. Kupata kazi ni baraka ya Mungu. Lakini kama hatutajua njinzi ya kuzikalisha hizo baraka tumepata zinaweza zikatutoa kwa huyo huyo Mungu alitupatia. Amen. Amen. Unajua Biblia inasema kwamba the gifts of God are without repentance. Aha. Hiyo ni kumaanisha ya kwamba Mungu akikupatia kipawa yeye yeah, atachukua kwa sababu auitumi utakaa tunayo. Yule alipewa talanda moja alikaa nayo kwa sababu wakati alienda kuf, kufukia chini akaenda akafukua mahali akaiweka hapo. Mungu akuja akachukua licha ya kwamba Mungu alikuwa na uwezo wa kuichukua. Alingojea mpaka siku ya mwisho. Kwa hivyo unaweza kuwa katika ufalme wa Mungu uko na kipawa cha uponyaji lakini hauponyi watu. Mungu hata kitoa mpaka ile siku utaanza kukitumikisha ndio kitafanya kazi. Amen. Si mtu mwingine aseme amina niendelee. Amina. Kwa hivyo vipawa ambazo Mungu ametupatia hawezi akachukua. Lakini kuna vile tunaweza zikalisha zikaendelea kuleta Mungu na kuongeza Mungu ndani yetu. Amen. Na hii message nimekuja kwa sababu ya watu watano tu ambao message hii itawafanya wamtumikie Mungu kwa njia isiyo ya kawaida. Amen. Naye Mungu ataonekana kwao kwa njia isiyo ya kawaida. Amen. Ukisema amina kubwa siopokee hiyo katika jina la Yesu. Amina. Na key number one on how to maintain your blessing is the spiritual connection. Spiritual connection. Ama muunganiko wa kiroho na the source of your blessing. Kitabu kile cha Yohana 16 mstari wa kwanza hadi mstari wa tano Number one key on how to maintain your blessing is on how you are connected to the source of the blessing. How you are connected to the source of the blessing. John 16 verse 1 to 5. Nimewaambieni hayo aha kusudi kusudi msiache imani yenu. Aha watu watawafukusa nyinyi katika masinagogi yao Aha. tena wakati unakuja mm. mapo kile kila atakayewaua nyinyi atadhani atadhani anamhudumia ana Mungu endelea watawatendeeni mambo hayo kwa sababu hawamjui baba Aha. wala hawanijui mimi basi thank you Isome 15 John 15 sorry I kuwa 16 bas 15 I am the true vine and my father is the gardener He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit 
while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes so that it may it will be even more fruitful verse 3 you are already clean because of the word i have spoken to you remain in me as i also remain in you no branch can bear fruit by itself it must remain in me it, it must remain in the vine neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me verse 5 in Napa, Malaysia. i am the vine you are the branches if you remain in me and i in you you will bear much fruit apart from me you can do nothing zomek swail tafadhali mimi ni mzabibu wa kweli anasema mimi ni mzabibu wa ukweli na baba yangu ndiye mkulima john 15 verse 1 to 6 uh -huh. endelea kila tawi ndani yangu lisilozaa matunda kila tawi kila mtu aliye katika ufalme wa Mungu you are counted as a branch amen amen chochote ambacho unafanya kwa Mungu Mungu alikiweka ndani yako ndio kifanye mti ukue complete mti sio complete kama hauna branches mti sio complete kama hauzai kwa hivyo sisi ni matawi naye ndiye ile ile gogo la mti endelea kila tawi ndani yangu lisilozaa matunda na kila tawi ambayo iko ndani yangu na haizai matunda ni mtu ambaye amepewa kipawa fulani lakini akitumikishi yeye uliondoa Mungu ataliondoa na kila tawi lizalo na kila tawi ambao nalo linazaa ulisafisha lipate kuzaa zaidi Mungu ataendelea kuisafisha ndio iendelee kuzaa zaidi Amen. kama uko hapa na uko na mbegu ya Mungu inakutangazia utazaa zaidi katika jina la Yesu Amen wale wanasema amina uzae zaidi ya huyo mtu asemi amina Amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen Anasema ya kwamba yule anazaa, yule anafanya hata kama unafanya nini. Unajua ukizaa hata kama umezaa kamoja, Mungu anakuhesabia you are productive. Kwa hivyo ataendelea kukusaidishia neema ndio uzae kingine. Afadhali we unazalisha kamoja kuliko yule azalishi chochote. Sema Bwana nisaidie nizalishe. Bwana Yesu nisaidie nizalishe. Matunda katika ufalme, matunda katika ufalme. Endelea. Nyinyi mmekwisha kuwa safi. Aha kwa sababu ya ule ujumbe niliyowaambieni endelea kaeni ndani yangu kaeni ndani yangu hapo ndio nimesema spiritual connection if there is anything that you received from the kingdom of god remain connected with the kingdom amen bwana yesu asifiwe amen na connection yako na kingdom tutaijua na vile uko connected na madhabahu ile mungu alikuita bwana yesu asifiwe Amen. If there is disconnection from this altar, that is an automatic indicator ya kwamba you are not connected spiritual to the kingdom of God. Lakini kama kuna connection, mara kwa mara madhabahu inakujua, mara kwa mara madhabahu inakuona, mara kwa mara mtumishi wa Mungu anakuona kwa anga, anakutaja. Maana mtumishi wa Mungu ameruhusiwa kutaja wale watu ambao wanaapia katika anga yake. Uh -huh. Spiritual connection. Hiyo tu ndio itafanya zile zile vitu ambazo alikupandia kama ana a kingdom ancient zile vitu amekupandia ataruhusiwa kuzilinda kama kuna connection between you and him uh -huh. na the connection between you and the servant of god is through the altar amen is how you service the altar vile unaosha kanisa unapanga viti unaenda lanjawa unaenda hbc hiyo connection ndio itafanya mtu akalishe baraka Mana kila mara anakaa akinguzana na ile 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 mti yeye ni tawi kutoka kwa hiyo mti. Anasema ya kwamba verse 5 verse 4 remain in me kaeni ndani yangu nami nitakaa ndani yenu. So hiyo ndiyo connection. Kuna watu wako ndani ya Yesu lakini Yesu hayuko ndani yao. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Endelea kaeni ndani yangu kaeni ndani yangu nami nikae ndani yenu nami nikae ndani yenu kama kuna, kuna wakristo wengi ambao wamebaki na Yesu wa maneno Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bwana Yesu apewe sifa nimefonya hivi na hivi lakini huyo Yesu anasema hayuko ndani yao ako katika mdomo uliza mtu Yesu ako ndani yako ama ako katika mdomo yako 
Yesu wako ndani yako ama wako katika mdomo yako. Anasema ya kwamba kaeli ndani yangu nami nitakaa ndani yenu. Endelea. Kama vile tawi aliwezi peke yake kuzaa. Kama vile utawahi enda hivi atukute kamburanchi kameanga kwa upepo. I with the ubongo usui tu na ndoe neti na it is impossible. Lakini kuna wakristo kiroa wako hivyo. Ni kamburanchi tu kameninginia ndio nimesema wamebaki na ushuhuda lakini ndani yao hakuna Yesu. Bwana amina aziko siku ya leo. Amina. God bless you Francis Modoka ambiga ngombao Joseph Mutie. Uh, because of tuning in ninawaombea katika jina la Yesu neema katika hii madhabahu ikalishe baraka zilizo ndani yenu in Jesus name amen kwa hivyo anasema ya kwamba kama vile tawi haiwezi ikasimama bila kuunganika na the main tree hivyo ndivyo naye mtu awezi kalisha baraka kama ako mbali na Yesu mwenyewe aha aha endelea kama vile tawi aliwezi peke yake kuzaa matunda lisilobaki katika msabibu. Aha. Ali kadhalika. Mm. Na nyamwezi kuta kuzaa matunda zipokaa ndani yangu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. If you want to be productive. Na wakati nasema productivity mimi sisemi tu ati ati kiroho peke yake. No. Even in your business, academics, a financial life kila kitu unafanya we must be productive na ukiona we are not productive that means there is a disconnection somewhere ni kumaanisha there is supply ambao haikuji vizuri mm. bwana yesu asifiwe amen juzi umesikia kumetangazwa tumeachilia unga ya mia unga ya mia moja bwana yesu asifiwe lakini ukienda kwa duka wanasema hiyo unga haiko maana imeachiliwa lakini hakuna connection. Kwa hivyo kuna demand na supply haiko. Kuna disconnection between the supplier and whoever and the vendor. Kuna disconnection. Lakini supplier akiwa connected na vendor kutakuwa watu watapokea hizo vitu wanaidiwa. Sasa watu wa Mungu tuko hivyo. Wakati we are not connected with Jesus, people come into our life expecting help from us wanatarajia msaada kutoka kwetu lakini kwa sababu sisi hatujaunganika na mwenye kutusupply msaada unapata ya kwamba ile msaada wanataka kwetu haiwafiki tunataka baraka za Mungu lakini aziingii kwetu maana yule ambaye ana supply baraka kwetu atuko connect na yeye sema kuanzia leo kuanzia leo narudisha special connection yangu narudisha special connection na Mungu yangu na Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Ukirudisha connections, vitu zingine zinasumbua watu azita kusumbua. Vitu zingine zinaangaisha watu azita kuangaisha. Uh-huh. Au utaangaisha na magonjwa kama mtu wa kawaida? No. Wale tu connected na Mungu, baraka ya uponyaji tunatembeanga nayo. Uweze tusikia watu huku tunatafuta madawa kila mahali. No. We are connected. The kingdom is supplying healing. Amen. Ah. Hallelujah. The kingdom is supplying peace. Mana we are connected with the kingdom. Aha. Uh-huh. The kingdom is supplying protection. Atuwezi yote ndoto atisikirushwe hivi zinaanguka kwetu kila wakati. No. Kuna vile connection yetu inaleta automatic security. Aha. Uh-huh. Nimesema kuanzia siku ya leo. Aha. Uh-huh. Baraka za ukweli za Mungu zitakuwa sehemu yako. Aha. Uh-huh. Hautakuwa mtu wa magonjwa kila wakati. Amen. Hautaota ndoto mbaya kila wakati. Amen. Ukirudisha special connection anga yako baraka zinakaa. Aha. Sema ninapokea hiyo neema. Ninapokea hiyo neema. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Ukiwa connected Yesu akiwa ndani yako utasikia akikonvince wewe kufanya kazi ile yako ambayo itakuletea baraka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kama kabisa Yesu wako ndani yetu, utasikia conviction ya kwamba when you do this hiyo ndiyo itakuletea Mungu wa ukweli. Amen. There are some things we are doing but we are doing them na hatuna peace na hatuna baraka kwa sababu we are doing what our body is pushing us to do not what Jesus is pushing us to do. Amen. Are we together church? Yes. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Amina. Na ile kazi utafanya na ulale na amani hata kama umechoka hiyo ndiyo itakuletea baraka. Lakini kuna vitu zingine utafanya utalala umechoka lakini ndani yako hauna amani utajua kwamba hiyo kazi si ile ya Yesu kazi ya Yesu ukifanya inakuletea amani inakuletea furaha moyoni hata kama umechoka ni kama wale tunahubiringi hapa usifikirie kuhubiri hapa ni rahisi 
fikiria kuombea watu hapa ni rahisi tunaenanga kulala tumechoka lakini roho zetu ziko na amani Amen. maana Yesu aliye ndani yetu anauwisha nafsi zetu ninakuombea katika jina la Yesu Kristo hakuna kazi ingine utafanya ikose kukuletea baraka Amen. maana utamaintain spiritual connection Aha. sema spiritual connection spiritual connection na ukiteremka hapo chini anasema ya kwamba na mkiendelea kukaa ndani yangu nami ndani yenu basi ombeni chochote mtakacho na sisi tutawafanyia Mungu mwana Mungu roho na Mungu baba mkikaa ndani yetu ombeni lolote mtakalo nanyi mtapewa kwa nini watu wanaomba uponyaji na wapewe uponyaji hakuna connection kwa nini watu wanaomba ushindi na wapati ushindi wana spiritual connection Aha. somebody say today today i am going to reconnect back i am going to reconnect back amen amen kwa nini watu saa zote tunatolewa mapepo toka toka so, hakuna connection na Mungu kuko na disconnection kwa hivyo tukija kwa Mungu tuna connect partially kuna kitu inatangwa partial connection yani ni wakati wa Jumapili peke yake hiyo kamsaada tunapata hata inaisha Tuesday hii siku ingine kitambo tukuje shetani ndiye ameoccupy kuanzia leo shetani hata occupy anga yako amen connection hii madhabahu itakulinda usiku na mchana amen sema amina niendelee amina bwana Yesu asifiwe amen number 2 Kumbuka naongea 10 keys to maintain your blessing. Ya kwanza nimesema ni spiritual connection. Ya pili inaitwa prayer f- prayerful life. Kuwa mtu wa maombi. Be a prayerful person. Usitegemee maombi ya kuombewa. Maana hata yule anakuombea hata yeye mwenyewe anataka Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Be a prayerful person. Jana after lunch hour niliingia hapa nikapata mtu anaomba hapa. Na mimi nikaingia kwa kanyumba pale na mimi nikaanguka chini. Tukaomba almost 2 hours. Sasa sisi hatutegemei kuombewa. Sometimes ni wewe ujitafutie anga ya kuombewa, kujiombea mwenyewe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Usikae, usikae mti, ukikale mti. Kama mutama ile tunapandanga shambani, mkulima amepanda. Sasa imezaa ndege anakuja anakanyanga anaanza kuikula na iwezi fanya hivi amen. amen kuna watu kwa, kwa Mungu kiiroa kwa hivyo ni kama mtama tu anasimama hapo njiwa anakuja anakula akitoka mwingine mdhonzo anakuja anakula na akawezi fanya hivi kakosa kukulwa sasa watu wengine kiiroa maana wanategemea yule aliwapandia baraka akuje kuwalindia baraka maombi mengine ukiombewa hapa sasa ni wewe uchukue hiyo neema uende ukaombe kwa anga yako Amen. Amen. Be prayerful. Nilikwambia siku nyingine, the formula of prayer is praying always. First Thessalonians 5:17 ama 18 inasema, pray always without ceasing. Kila wakati ni wakati wa maombi. Hata wakati you are not praying verbally, let your spirit keep on interceding for you. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amina. First Thessalonians, yes, ndio hiyo 5:17 inasema ya kwamba pray always without ceasing kuna watu wanaombanga ile masaa ya ibada peke yake ibada ikiisha kwisha atakumbuka tena kuomba wakati wa HBC atakumbuka kuomba tena wakati wa lunch hour kuna watu hata asubuhi alipoamka hakuomba kuna mtu alilala usiku yote hata dakika moja ya kuamka a speak in, in tongues tu aku speak alilala vofofo akaamka mbambamba amen amen Bese bamba bamba niko amkara mundu za amkai mo pae kiti ma lesson usui mwe sitting anyuite chaino usui ngi ndon hata hajakumbuka kukaa hivi akakumbusha Mungu asande umenilinda usiku wote by the way nimeota nini ni mbaya ama ni nzuri akakanzo kama ni mbaya kama ni nzuri anaizalisha na kama ana uwezo wa kuitolea sadaka anaitolea sadaka Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Ukiendelea kukaa hivyo ulikuwa unakaa apostle alisema utaendelea kukaa kupata ile baraka ulikuwa unapata. Lakini ukianza kuandivance day by day, utaanza kuona vitu mpya kwa maisha yako. Amen. Ambia mtu utakuwa muombaji, utakuwa muombaji. Na ukikosa kuomba, na ukikosa kuomba, wengine watakuibia baraka, wengine watakuibia baraka. Sikia, siku moja walimwendea Yesu kitabu cha Luke 18 verse 1. Wakimuuliza, mtu anafaa kuomba mara ngapi? Yesu akawaambia mtu anafaa kuomba kila wakati. 
na hapo mbele akawapatia mfano wa mtu mmoja alikuwa na kesi kotini akawaambia mtu huyu alikuwa anafanya kesi na mwenzake Luka 18 mstari wa kwanza basi aha basi Yesu aliwasimulia mfano akawasimulia mfano kuhusu maombi kuonyesha ni kwamba lazima kuzali daima bila kukata tamaa yani ni lazima sio a request if you are born again and you want to enjoy the blessing of the lord prayer is a must is a necessity it's not optional ukisikia mkutano wa maombi ndio mkutano unavaa kukimbia na miguu yako yote na speed yako yote bana Yesu asifiwe amen na utajua watu hawapendi wa Mungu sababu ya vile wana attending service bana Yesu apewe sifa amen mimi nasemanga hata nikakosa kukuja lanchao ile masai inaendelea nina ngoja anga watu wakitoka ninakuja hapa nina spend hiyo one hour nikiomba because i know the importance of that Amen. Kuna vitu zingine sitaombewa, kuna vitu zingine asitegemei unabii ambao ninatolewa. Sinategemea ile maombi nimeomba nikatunza anga yangu. Aha. Hallelujah. Amen. Nasema hallelujah. Amina. Maombi ya mtu ni kama maji inayomimeniwa kwa mbegu. Neno la Mungu ambao unafundishwa hapa ni mbegu. Hmm. Lakini kile kitafanya hiyo mbegu imee ni ile maombi we unaomba, si ile umeombewa. Kwa hiyo Yesu akawafundisha watu jinsi ya kuomba yani ni kwamba ni lazima waombe kila wakati endelea alisema na akasemaje katika mji mmoja kulikuwa na hakimu endelea ambaye alikuwa na mcha Mungu aha wala kumjali binadamu endelea katika mji huo huo mm-hmm. kulikuwa pia na mama mmoja mjane aha ambaye alimwendea huyo hakimu mara nyingi mm. akimwomba amtetee apate haki yake endelea kutoka kwa adui yake mm-hmm. kwa muda mrefu huyo hakimu akupenda kumtetea huyo mjane aha lakini mwishowe akajisemea. Lakini mwenyewe mwishowe akajisemea ingawa mimi si mchi Mungu. Ingawa mimi si mchi Mwenyezi Mungu. Wala simjali binadamu. Wala I don't care about human being. Lakini kwa vile huyu mjane ananisumbua. Lakini huyu mwajane amekuwa na persistence. Nitamtetea. Amekuwa kila wakati anakuja kuomba si waamue kesi yani amekuwa mtu wa kurudia Yesu alikuwa anafundisha kuhusu kuomba kila wakati bila kukata tamaa kuna maombi unaweza omba ikuwe wrong but because of your persistence and repeating on the same thing Mungu aseme just because of just that persist, persistence wacha nikupatie hiyo baraka aha amen amen na hiyo ndiyo siri ya mtu kupenya katika maombi jana wakati nilikuwa hapa naomba hapa na huyo mtu the two hours mimi hata si kuomba kitu kingine nilikuwa naomba one prayer sikuwa nabadilisha nilikuwa nataka kuingia nyingine nasikia narudishwa hiyo hiyo maana hiyo ndiyo kitu ile Mungu anataka aone kama nita persist ndio anipatie pia prayer for some person usingojie kuombewa kila wakati amen bwana Yesu asifiwe amen maana hata wakati wa kuja kanisa ni mchache kuliko ule wetu tunakaa peke yetu bwana Yesu apewe sifa Amen. Wakati wa kuwa kanisani ndio mchache kuliko ule tunakaa peke yetu. Maana kanisani tunakuja just one hour. The other eight, maana siku iko na 12 hours mchana. The other 11 ama tuseme the other 10 hours uko peke yako. Sasa utategemea maombi ya masaa mawili kanisani peke yake. Hiyo 10 have that prayer consciousness. Si lazima uombe atujifungie kwa nyumba ni kuomba kila wakati. No, unaweza kuwa unatembea hivi but your spirit is tuned into prayer. Amen. 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 Your mind is tuned into prayer. Mm. Unaweza ina mingu na watu hivi lakini your spirit is praying. Amen. Somebody say my father my God. My father my Help God. Help me to pray and to pray. Help me to pray and pray. Anasema ya kwamba licha ya kwamba mimi si mchi Mwenyezi Mungu wala sijali wanadamu. Wacha huyu mama nimpatie haki. Basi pale mwisho anamalizia anasemaje? Kama hakimu ambaye hamjui Mungu anaweza fanyia mtu hivyo, njie Mungu ambaye anatupenda tukiendelea kumuomba kila wakati. You see we are losing a lot of blessing just because of prayerlessness. Aha. Uh-huh. Somebody say I am receiving spirit of prayer. I am receiving spirit of prayer. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Unaweza omba kitu ambao hata it makes sense kwa Mungu. Lakini kwa sababu hiyo ku, kuendelea kuomba na kuomba na kuomba Mungu anakupatia. Kuna watu maisha yao inabadilika after this service. Amen. Maana nasikia ndani yangu kuna watu wanatamani hiyo roho ya maombi. Hallelujah. Na Mungu atakupatia na utaomba. Amen. Sema hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number three, keys to maintain your blessing. Po 
positive declaration concerning your life. Even if it's a muscle, you don't need any other thing. It is just you. And then you make up your mind. Positive declarations concerning your life. Ni vitu we mwenye unahamua. Sasa hapo watu hakuna pastor, hata hakuna kiongozi wa HBC, hata hakuna mwalimu wa Sunday school. No, ni kitu mwenye unahamua ya kwamba I will never speak negative concerning my life. Every confession ambao nitafanya in my life, it will be a positive confession. Confession. Chochote nitanena kuhusu watoto wangu. Chochote nitaongea kuhusu masomo yangu. Chochote nitaongea kuhusu kipawa yangu. Sitaongea kitu ya kunifunguza, nitaongea kitu ya kuniongezea. Aha, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Proverbs 18:21 ni mstari ambao tunaojua. Kuna watu wanaombe yangu hapa. Umeombewa, umefanywa deliverance, lakini ukitoka pale nje kile unaongea ndicho kinarudisha tena mashetani. Umetoka hapo umeambiwa wewe you are record breaker. Karika familia yenu wewe ndiye mtu ambaye atabadilisha kwenu. Ukitoka nje unaanza kuongea maneno inatoa ile ambao umenenewa Max. Inaanza kutoanisha wewe badala ya kuongezea wewe. Na kwa sababu ya hiyo unaanza kujilaani mwenyewe. Unajua baraka ni kukosekana kwa laana. Nayo laana ni kukosekana kwa baraka. Kwa hivyo baraka zingine hata si shetani amehusika, hata si mchawi. Ni wewe ile maneno unajineneanga. Unajineneanga aje. Na ndio maana haukalishi baraka. Maana zile vitu unaongea unajilaani. He mimi sijui hata kama nikisoma nitapata kazi. Hata sijui kama wazazi wangu watapata pesa. Hata sijui kama hii biashara yangu itaniletea kitu. Hata sijui kama hii kuhubiri siku moja nita. Uh, uh, Usiongee hivyo. Semanga kama vile unasikia ukisema hapa I am a international preacher. Amen. Naweza kuwa naubiri kijijini lakini najua hapa sio mwisho wangu. Speak positive. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tunapatana jamani. Yes. Keys of maintaining blessing. Watu wengine baraka zinatoroka. Sisi ndio tunatorosha na midomo yetu. Yakobo anasema Jacob Job eh Jacob Jacob hakuna kitabu kama Jacob James eh James anasema ya kwamba ulimi nika 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 sehemu kadogo sana ya mwili lakini inaweza ikaharibu mwili mzima kwa nini anasema hivyo kile ulimi anasema anaweza affect mguu unaambiwa utaenda bali lakini we mwenyewe unasema sitaenda bali kwa hivyo we mwenyewe umefunga miguu yako hautawahi enda mali Medhali 18:21 Inasemaje? Ulimi una nguvu ya kufanya ai. Ulimi wa mtu una uwezo ama uko na nguvu ya kufanya uai na kuua na unaweza ukaua. Inua mkono wasema naachilia uai kwa maisha yangu. Naachilia uai kwa maisha. Kila roho ya kifo. Kila roho ya inaikemea kifo. itoke kabisa. Imeikemea itoke kabisa. Ulimi una nguvu ya kufanya. So you can make mm. Life in every situation you are passing through. Amen. In the other hand you can make it to be a dead dead thing. Lakini ukitumia ulimi hapo akimalizia anasema ya kwamba those who laugh their tongue will enjoy the blessings thereof. Amen. Wale wanaopenda ulimi wao kuutumia vizuri watakula matunda yake sema kuanzia leo hii kuanzia leo hii mimi nimbarikiwa mimi nimbarikiwa katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu hebu malizia ndio waziseme pasta naongezea anga scripture si hapo wanaopenda kuutumia wanaopenda kuutumia just imagine you have something that can make you to be blessed if you are going to use it uh-huh. uko na kitu kinaweza fanya ukalishe baraka kama utakitumia Amen. Na hiyo kitu si ingine ni ulimi. Aha. Mtu anguze ulimi wake, sijui utaanguza na useme aje lakini sema we ulimi wangu. We ulimi wangu. Ujifundishe kukalisha baraka kwangu. Ujifundishe kukalisha baraka. Kuanzia kwa. siku ya leo. Kuanzia siku ya leo. Inakuamurisha. Inakuamurisha. Uzalishe baraka, uzalishe baraka. Na ukalishe baraka. Na ukalishe baraka. Pia Yesu makofi mazuri. Haleluya. Wanaopenda kuutumia Watakula matunda yake. Watakula matunda yake. Ni mara ngapi hapa umeomewa? Umeambiwa kuanzia leo hiyo magonjo imeenda. Ukitoka pale nje unasema nipatie pana doko na ile kichwa yangu. Ume, umerudisha tena. Kwa hivyo tunakaa maisha ambao inaitangwa na pasta Israel retrograding. Kuzunguka mahali pamoja, kutoa, unaweka. Ndio nilikwimbia wimbo nilisikia siku nyingine. Wanachukua, wanaweka, hewala. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Tunatoa, unarudisha. Tunatoa. Sasa utaishi kulaumu ya kwamba Mungu ni kama habariki lakini wewe ndio ujui kukalisha baraka. Aha. 
ukiombewa hapa enda ukisema hiyo wimbo nimeimbiwa hapa ya kwamba mimi naenda mali enda ukisema hiyo kalisha hiyo na uswai ongea ingine haleluya somebody amen are you being blessed yes kama tuko pamoja nione kwa mkono juu nani yako na ulimi hapa anasema wanaopenda kutumia ulimi watakula matu ulimi yako iko na matunda yako inategemea unaitumia aje ukilala ukilala jifundishe kuongea na ulimi yako kuanzia inapoenda kulala ninatangaza katika anga yangu akuta ingia ndoto mbaya hiyo ndio itafanyika ninaongea na roho yangu haitashirikishwa kufanya maovu ninaongea na solo yangu haitatumikishwa kufanya mambo maovu ninapolala sura yangu nimeiweka moto kule itatokea haitatumika kufanya uovu bali itatumika kutenda mema maana ulimi wanaopenda kuutumia watakula matunda yake bwana yesu asifiwe We unalala tu unachukuliwa roho yako inapelekwa maana haukuipandia maneno haukuinenea roho yangu kila mahali inatokeanga kwa ndoto ni lazima ifanye impact ya kiro na ufalme wa Mungu si ya shetani na ikiitwa kwa shetani itakataa maana nimeipatia instruction am i talking to somebody yes ninaongea kuhusu learn to declare positive things concerning your life Amen. hiyo ndiyo njia ya kukalisha baraka Mm. Amuka ukute ya kwamba hakuna chakula na useme mimi nitakula kile ninataka sio kile nitapata. Uh-huh. Speak positive. Declare something positive. Maana ukitumia ulimi vizuri. Ulimi hiyo hiyo utakula matunda yake. Jakobo 3 mstari wa 8. Eh hey, James 3 verse 8. Lakini hakuna mtu alie faulu kufunga ulimi. Hakuna mtu ambaye aliwahi faulu kufunga ulimi. Ulimi ni kitu kiovu. Ulimi ni kitu kiovu akitawaliki, akitawaliki na kimejaa sumu inayoua. Na kimejaa sumu inayoua kwa ulimi, kwa ulimi sisi tumshukuru Bwana. Sisi tunakuja tunasema Bwana Yesu tunakushukuru sana. Na kwa ulimi huo. Na kwa ulimi hiyo hiyo twawalaani twa watu. Tunawalaani watu. Watu ambao wameumbwa kwa mfano wa Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Ulimi yako kama inaweza ikakuja ikatukuza Mungu na pande ile ingine ilaani watu siwe ubadilishe useme mimi sitaitumia kulaani nitaitumia kubariki. Aha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Sema ulimi wangu, ulimi wangu nitautumia vizuri, nitautumia vizuri. Ukisoma Psalm I think 45 verse 1 ama verse 2. Inasema ya kwamba ulimi wa mtu hodari ni kama kalamu ya mwandishi mkononi anaitumia kuandika mashairi. Kwa hivyo unaweza tumia ulimi yako uandike sheria zako za rohoni. Walisema hapa kwetu watu hata hawataendelea lakini mimi ninatangaza kwa jina la Yesu Kristo mimi nitaendelea. Uh-huh. Walisema watu wa, wa, maeneo haya waendelea lakini mimi nakanusha hiyo. Ninatangaza mimi nitaendelea and I will make it in life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Key number four. Learn to engage yourself in spiritual warfare prayers. Jifundishe kuomba maombi ya vita. It is one thing to receive a blessing is another thing to keep the blessing. Remember we are in the year of taking it by force. Katalabano biazo. Kwa hivyo any blessing that you are going to receive violently it is going to be maintained by your violence also. Amen. Kile utapata kupitia vita kitakalizwa na ile vita utakuwa nayo kwa anga. Kwa hivyo ukipewa vitu ukiendea kwa anga kwa vita. Unaona anga zile vita zinakuanga hapa tukikomboa watu. Mtaachilia yeye atutaachilia. Hautuwezi we ni mfupi na wakanyanga finally wanaachilia. Kama huyo mtu atakalisha hiyo, ni lazima naye akuwe mkali vile zitu umekuwa mkali kumkujia huko. Amen. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Amina. Matthew 11 2 of Nandi wa our givers this year. The kingdom of God since the days of John the Baptist the kingdom of God has suffered violence and the violent take it back by force. Kwa hivyo hapa ni lazima ukue mkali unaomba maombi ya kuvunja, kuharibu, kubomoa na kupokea vitu vyako. Ukingojea uombewe na mtu basi ataomba na ingia kwa anga yako na achukue zako na zake. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Naongea kuhusu how to ten keys on how to maintain blessings. Yes. Baraka si automatic inahitaji mtu hata yule mtu anayenanga shambani kupanda wewe ndio naye yosa yambidi kuema 
Si anaenda si mnaenda kulimia mkipanda. Yes. Kwa nini tusipande na twende tukae nyumbani? Man it is not automatic. Something must be done Amen. for us to receive the harvest of what we have sown. Amen. Kwa hivyo wewe ndio upate mbegu ama eh ma harvest mavuno ya kile umepanda. Ni lazima ulimie hiyo kitu. Haitakuwa automatic. Na mtumishi wa Mungu hata kuja kukulimia, wewe ndio utalimia anga yako. Na mimi ndio nitalimia anga yangu. Nipalilie mpaka vitu zangu zizae sawa sawa na vile ninataka. Amen. Anasema hivyo, hivyo nimesema Matthew 11:12. Since the days of John the Baptist the kingdom and the kingdom is you and me. Inapigwa. Wachawi watatakii mazuri. Unasikia wale tunaingiana na wao wamekuja pia kutukamata. Wanakupatia kitu ndio wakukamate nayo. Kwa hivyo kama hautakuwa mkali anga yako itakuwa mbaridi wataingia tu watafanya kile wanataka. Lakini ukiwa mtu wa, wa maombi ya vita watakuwa wanaingia kwako wanasikia vitu zinawasukuma watoke. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Siupokee moto wa vita katika jina la Yesu. I receive. James 4 verse 7 inasema ya kwamba submit yourselves unto the Lord. Resist the devil. Shetani aelewi lugha nyingine, aelewi at compromise at at unajua shetani mimi siku kuunguza, unajua mimi mchawi mimi siku a a mchawi aelewi hiyo anaelewa kukemewa. Hao yamekunguza ama hajanguza wewe pepeta ye, pia ye meshale. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Nasema haleluya. Amen. Unaonanga vile tunawapepetanga hapa. Ulisikia wale walikuwa wanaleta mandizi pale. Tuliwakamata siku hizi ya waguji. Sasa tungekuwa rais wangekuwa anaendelea kukamata watu. Lakini lazima tukue wakali. Tuwasukume tuwatoe kwa anga. Sema leo nitawasukuma. Leo nitawasukuma. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Ukikosa kupalilia maombi ya vita, uzuri wake ni kungoa magugu. Ukikosa kupalilia ile mbegu yako umepanda hizo vitu zitamea hapo ndio zinaletanga wadudu amen kwa hivyo spiritual warfare ni kama ni kama kupiga pesticide katika mimea yako ni kama kunyunyizia ndawa kwa mimea yako maombi ya vita ni kunyunyizia ndawa ndio itoe kile ambacho si cha hapo ndio kile cha hapo kibaki bila kusukumwa na kingine Amen. Sema nitakuwa mtu wa vita. Nitakuwa mtu wa vita. Katika jina la Yesu, katika jina la Yesu. Number 5. Keys, 10 keys to maintain your blessing. Kwa naongea blessing nimesema ni kuponywa, ni ukombozi, ni biashara, ni kipawa, ni masomo yako, ni udumo ulio nayo, ni nyota yako. Hizo vitu kama utakalisha, ni lazima hizi vitu ninakwambia leo uzisingatie hata mimi nikizizingatia pia serve god diligently and in covenant amen tumikia mungu kwa kujitolea na ukiwa katika agano maana mungu atakuwa involved na affairs zako kama umemuhusisha na kwa affairs zako kuna watu ambao hata shetani akaanza kuingia kwao mungu aweze react lakini kuna wengine shetani akianza kuingia kwao Mungu atareact. Maana kuna vile waliingiana na Mungu mpaka vitu vyao zimekuwa za Mungu na vitu zao zimekuwa za Mungu pia. Amen. Kwa hivyo there is a covenant, there is an agreement in my family, there is a portion of God. Na mimi nikienda kwa Mungu kuna kazi ile yangu nafaa kufanya kwake. Amen. Someone say covenant. Covenant. Na ndio ninakusomea Psalm 50 verse 5 to 6. Anasema ya kwamba nikusanyishieni watu wangu wa Israeli ambao wananitumikia katika agano nazo mbingu zitaongea juu yao na kinyume na maadui zao Psalm 50 verse 5 to 6 Nikusanyieni waaminifu wangu waaminifu sio kila mtu ni mtu hapa sasa aifike kiwango aaminike yeye mwenyewe hataki mtu akamfuata hataki supervision from anybody no yeye mwenyewe aaminike nikusanyishie waaminifu wote waliofanya ngano nami kwa tabiko ambao kuna agano wamenifanyia na nikupitia sacrifice fulani Bingu. you must you must sacrifice your time to god for him to sacrifice him, his time to secure your blessing Amen. Are you understand what I'm talking about? Yes. If you want God to sacrifice his energy to secure you, mm. sacrifice your energy to serve him. Amen. It will be automatic business transaction. Hallelujah. Kama utajitolea kutumikia Mungu, naye atajitolea kukulinda wewe. 
Amen. Watumishi wa Mungu wale unaonanga wanahudumia wanatumikia Mungu kwa kujitolea. Kuna vile shetani hawezi wagonga gonga vile anataka. Aha. No, Mungu amejitolea kuwalinda maana hata wao wamejitolea kumtumikia. Na hiyo nafasi imefunguka kwa kila mtu ambaye ameokoka. Amen. You can serve God diligently. Amina. Biblia mahali pengine inasema ya kwamba serve the Lord with all your might, with all your heart and with all your energy. Yaani mtumikie Mungu kwa chochote unaweza. Ili umejitolea kwake naye atajitolea hivyo kwake. Na bla, baraka zako naye atakuwa ndiye mlinzi wake. Amen. Sema Bwana nisaidie. Bwana nisaidie. Nikusanyishie wahadilifu ama waaminifu wangu ambao wameingia kwa agano na mimi kupitia tambiko. Endelea. Bingu zatangaza uandilifu wa Mungu. Nayo mbingu itatangaza uaminifu wa Mungu. The faithfulness of God will never manifest in, your, in our lives if we are not serving God diligently. Uaminifu wa Mungu hautawahi dhihirika kwetu kama hatumtumiki Mungu kwa kujitolea. Uh-huh. Tukitumikia Mungu kama ni ni option tu, ni kama wacha niende ndio kusikue hivi na hivi, ndio nisipigiwe simu, ndio nisiulizwe nilikuwa wapi? kama hiyo unamtumikia Mungu na hiyo motive mbingu hazitawahi shuhudia anything concerning you haleluya somebody amen key number 6 nataka nimalizie na 10 sitaki nizipite hapo god bless you so much those who are following us on social media platforms number 6 deal with pride in your life deal with pride in your life Amen. kuna watu ambao wamepoteza baraka zao kwa sababu ya kiburi na unajua wewe hujui kiburi ni kila mtu anako na kiburi everybody has a percentage of pride it depends on how you manage your pride pride is manageable Haleluya. Kila mtu ako na percentage fulani ya kiburi ya kujisikia ako better than the other. Lakini inategemea how does the pride control you? Na hapo ndio unaonanga watu wanainuka, wanashuka. Wanainuka, wanashuka. Wanapata baraka inapotea. Wanapata baraka inawatoa kwa Mungu. Wanapata hii inawafanya wakuwe sasa watu wengine hata hawaambiliki. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Amen. Na hii ndiyo kitu ile kubwa shetani amekamata kanisa nayo pride. Unajua unafikiria pride ni ile kuja kujionyesha hapo mbele hao lakini kuna pride inakuanga very silent but very powerful in the spiritual realm. Mtu aongei ukasikia kiburi ndani yake lakini roho ile ndani yake ni ya majivuno. Haleluya. Amen. Na njia moja ya kujua mtu ako na kiburi kanisani ni mtu ana uwezo wa kuandika mafundisho ya kanisa na andiki hiyo ndio inaitangwa kiburi ya kwanza. <laughs> Kwani hujawahi jua anaweza andika semina kule tuitwa semina huko ama shuleni. Utaona ana, lakini kanzani I cannot hazi akaandika. Now that is a percentage of pride. Because pride inakuambia anga you know everything you don't need to be taught by anybody. Na kwa sababu hiyo Biblia inasema ya kwamba pride comes before a fall. Na hapo kuna fall hakuwezi kuwa na baraka. It means there is an absence of blessing. Somebody say pride. Pride. Kiburi ndio inafanyanga mtu abarikiwe na Mungu na aanze kumwekea huyo Mungu masharti. Mm. Unajua hasa kama si hii biashara ningepata time ningeenda kwa Mungu. Unajua kama si hii hii appointment ya yaenda kufanya interview ningepitia church. Yaani mtu anakuwa na excuses na zile vitu Mungu amempatia zinamtoa kwa huyo huyo Mungu. Believe me kuna mtu saa hii ako nyumbani anaangalia mbuzi ndio zimefanya asikuje hapa. That is what we are calling pride. Hawezi pata time ya, lakini wakati akuwa na hizo mbuzi alikuwa kwa Mungu all through. Mungu naomba unisaidie. Anga tu nipate mbuzi. Anga tu hiyo shamba yangu nione kaka kitu kanatembea. Sasa alibarikiwa na hizo kuku. Hawezi kuja kwa Mungu mwenyewe. Kiburi kikainuka. Sasa kimemwondolea baraka. Anafikiria kwa na baraka lakini si baraka. Shetani amemfunga macho. Haleluya. Amen. Wanasiasa kila siku walikuwa makanisani hii msimu imepita. Sasa ngoja wapate vitu, utawaona kanisani hiyo ni nini? Kiburi. Na hao wataendelea kukaa hapo na akikusanyia hiyo pesa na kusanya after the five years or ten years. 
akitoka aki tu kwa hiyo muula alikuwa anaongoza anapatwa na ugonjwa ya kwendanga india kila mwezi ile pesa alikusanya yote inamumalizia tu na magonjwa right ambia mtu kiburi kiburi msomi utamuona hapa anapenda mungu maana anataka aende apite mtihani ngoja apite mtihani akipita mtihani anakuwa anatupigia simu oh tumeshikana sana nilikuwa nafikiri nitakuja hii operation siwezi ninawasikianga huko anatupigia simu wakiwa na mahitaji wanaweza piga simu waombe mahitaji lakini wakipata baraka hawezi piga simu wa testify about the blessing inaitangwa kiburi sema kiburi kiburi kama unatakanga Mungu ukiwa na shida hata wakati hiyo shida haiko taka huyo Mungu penda huyo Mungu amen amen there is no any single minute you can waste in the presence of God time yote ume spend kwa Mungu it is very valuable it is very precious amen Any other time you spend on your own things it is it, it is a waste of time. Afadhali ukae kwa Mungu, uambiwe wewe ni mujiko umepoteza time, lakini ujue hapo nimepotezea. Afadhali hapo kuliko kwa hizo zangu. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Na unajua message kama hii inapohubiriwa watu hawapendangi hizo. Na hizo ndio tunaitangwa principles. Amen. Principles. Nilikwambia Biblia iko na three things: principles, promises and the prophecies. So when we come to principles you either do it or you don't do it lakini hautapata result ni lazima uifanye haina option haina alternative Somebody say my father my god my father my god help me to swallow pride help me to swallow pride Hebu sikia vile Biblia inasema kuhusu kiburi Proverbs 11 verse 2 Kiburi utakuja hapa ufundishwe na mtu na tena ujue zaidi yake Tuone kama utaendelea kunyenyekea chini yake. Amen. Amen. Mm. Utakuja hapo uombewe na, na mtumishi wa Mungu hapa tu ambaye hata nyumba yenyewe hana upate yako. Tuone kama utaendelea kunyenyekea kwake. Maana kiburi, command and pride, it needs the mercies of God. Amen. Inahitajiingi neema ya Mungu sana. Amina. Ana Yesu apewe sifa. Amen. To ministers wale ambao tunahubiri hapa kuna level na imeua watu wengi katika hii madhabahu maana mimi nimekuwa hapa tangu tuanze na kufika leo kuna watu wakiinuka step moja tu hivi atiwajue kusoma biblia na kuinterpret biblia ama kuombe ya mtu anapona hawezi kaa hapa kwanza anasema unajua ile mafuta niko nayo inachomana na ya pasashadra na ni kiburi tu akienda hivi anakuwa muganga right na hawezi kalisha unajua baraka za Mungu azileti majuto amen amen the blessing of god Juzi eh, think 2017 ama 2018 Mungu ndiye aliniambia wale watu wanajua Mungu sana ndio wanakaanga wajinga lakini wale wajui Mungu ndio wanakuanga na kimbele mbele nyingi ndio unawasikia watu wakisema nipatie nafasi ni ubiri niko na ujumbe nimepewa na Mungu anajiulizia nafasi lakini yule anajua kuhubiri hata hataki kuhubiri hataki kupewa nafasi Amen Amen Hivyo ni unajipimanga ume grow hii ni kiburi uko nayo ama ni neema ya Mungu iko juu yako Amen. Proverbs 11 verse 2. Kiburi uandamana na fedhea. Kiburi kinaandamananga na fedhea. Just imagine siku moja mtu akuja hapa boss akiombea watu. Ambia hii hii mambo mimi naweza toa. Alafu akuja adui haya, chukua mic ndio hiyo. Atoe ikatae. Kile kitafuata ni nini? Fedhea. Lakini kiburi ndio huwa anatangulia kwanza. Anakuambia unajua, itisha nafasi. Unajua, unajua lakini ukikosa kufanya hicho ulikuwa unasema aibu inakufuata si ulikuwa unasema unaweza unaona mtu ana anaishiwa na nguvu jifundishe kuwa mtu mwenye nyekevu amen humility is not humiliation sure. listen to me humility is not what humiliation there are people i know in this world wangejua zile tu vitu sisi tunajua kidogo hapa they cannot remain in kadhekan mm-hmm. watatangatanga huko so they think they know na hiyo ndiyo itafanya wasikalishe baraka. Haleluya. Amen. Proverbs 16 verse 5. Ndio nitoke hapo kwa kiburi. Kiburi inakuambianga you, you cannot be taught by so and so. No, you see your classes, eh? Unaona class yako ni hii. Na hao ume hao umedharau ndio wamebeba vitu zako. Amen. Hao tu naona si klasi yako, hao ndio wamepewa vitu zako. Ndio Mungu akufundishe kunyenyekea. Amen. Biblia inasema ya kwamba 
he exalts the humble but he, he mocks the pride Proverbs 16 verse 5 Kila mwenye kiburi ni chukizo kwa Mwenyezi Mungu. Mtu yeyote aliye na kiburi Mungu ampendi. Na kama Mungu akupendi naye hata kupea baraka zake. Kumbuka nafundisha jinsi ya kukalisha nini? Baraka. Baraka. Kuwa mnyenyekevu barikiwa na mali. Inuliwa hapa hata ununue magari kuliko pastors wa hapa. Lakini tukuone tu unasimama hapa tu na wasikiza tu. Amen. Mungu atakuwa anasema ndole you are the right person kuinua. Amen. Lakini angalia wangapi wameinuka hapa na wangapi wamekaa. Mkiinuka mm. wanaenda. Hata tukikutania huko kwanza wana wana wanatuita mwanaaza. Elawa ndio maana mtu wake mitulio. Hata wewe Yesu. Amen. Eta basta mwanaaza. Amen. Amen. Ni mwana ukombe tandao. Ah God bless you bro. Uko mbele yake kiro na hawezi admit uko mbele yake anakuita bro. Amen. Amen. Ama anakuita sa. Ah God bless you sa. Sir, even God himself does not call us sir. Anatuitanga sons wake ama servants wake. Lakini kiburi atakwambia ni bro, ni sister. Ah, ah Mungu akubariki sana my sister. Wewe ni mshirika hata hujawahi manage kanisa na unaita mtumishi wa Mungu anasimamia roho za watu na muita sister yako. Kuna mazaa ya hiyo kiwango na kuna mazaa ya kuona anointing. Amen. Hello somebody. Hello. Na ni kiburi inafanya watu wasiende mahali. Sema sio mimi. Sio mimi. Never call your pastor bro. Mm. Never call your pastor sister. Amen. 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 Muandress in that pastor. Hiyo kitu Mungu alimuona naye, wewe muone na hiyo. Hizo zingine waachana nazo. Hata kama uko mkubwa yake. Maana ile inakufanya umuone hiyo ingine ni kiburi. Najua mpendi hiyo, lakini nitaizukumia ndani. Baimu ndo nyuza akili, mimi yomi, ate yomi sia. Maana sema hii kinywa hiyo zetu ni ya Yesu. Amen. Uno mbaka wika lena mwadhimu. Mm. Aleluya. Amen. Proverbs 16:18. Sijui kwa nini nimekuamia hapa kwa kiburi. Lazima tukatakate hiyo masikio ya kiburi. Tutaikata kabisa haitakaa hapa. Lazima watu wabarikiwe na wakalishe baraka. Amen. Na wainuke. Amen. Na ndio inafanyanga wengine wa kuna people there are people in this church they cannot attend HBC because they in in their hearts wanasema ya kwamba na nitahubiriwa na huyo huyo nani ataenda kunihubiria si ningoje nikahubiriwe Sunday na so and so hawata hii enda mahali i'm telling you the truth ukiwaona uambia niliwaambia hakuna mahali wataenda amen proverbs 16:18 kiburi utangulia maangamizi unasikia amerudia tena amesema verse 5 kiburi utangulia maangamizi na tena na mu, anasema Mungu anachukia wenye kiburi na amerudia tena hapo Proverbs na alikuwa amesema tena Proverbs 11 amerudia tena Proverbs 16 verse 5 na amerudia tena Proverbs 16 verse 18 na ukiangalia na Proverbs utaona vitu vingi Mungu hapendi kiburi nyenyekea tu kuwa mnyenyekevu acha kujiwekea class if you are a servant be a servant don't term yourself as a boss amen a, 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 and you are a servant hallelujah kiburi utangulia maangamizi mhm Majivuno utangulia maanguko. Hallelujah. Amen. Number seven key to maintain your blessing, exercise loyalty at its level best. Exercise loyalty. Loyalty ni ile hali ya kuwa 100% obedient. Ukiambiwa fanya hii, usikue na eh eh hiyo tu nimeambiwa. Hiyo ulisikia mimi niliambiwa tukianza ministry na my spiritual father siku yote nitakuwa na ubiri hapa na kutaka hapa na siku yote ambao sitakuwa hapa na kutaka hapa hiyo tu na singoji yangu mtu mwingine aniambie no hiyo tu 100% obedience lakini wewe unajua hiyo uwezani nayo ana uko na shughuli zako utamwacha tu hapo wewe endelea mzee wa watu iko hmm? na shughuli hata mimi loyalty Yaani command inatoleangwa na unanga pingamizi yoyote. Hata kama umeambiwa piga magoti, wewe hata ulizangi unapiga. Hiyo ndio loya total obedience. Amen. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Amen. Na kanisa tumekosea ndio maana unaona some of us we cannot carry the grace upon the men of God and women of God ambao Mungu ametupatia watu waongoze kiroho. Tumebaki tu na vitu za kawaida lakini roho zilizo ndani yao hatuwezi pokea because we are not loyal to them. Wakisema tufa, twende hivi tunaenda pale tunapindua ruti maana hawatuoni loyalty ndio inameshangwa na distance huyo mtu akiwa yuko ama yuko you behave the same amen hallelujah amen loyalty inapimwa na distance inapimwa na time 
utaendelea kufanya hiyo kitu for how long if you are doing it for just some 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 period of time alafu unachoka it was not loyalty it was pretense somebody say loyalty loyalty unajua ninaonga hivi kwa sababu kuna watu hapa watakalisha baraka tutakuwa tunakutana majuu Amen. Nasema utakuwa utakutana majuu. Amen. Hakuna ruhusa ya tena unafaa ukue nayo ya kupoteza baraka. Hallelujah. Wacha hii message itu, itu sort out kabisa. Amen. Tukalisha baraka ndiyo baba yetu akiachilia baraka zina manifest na tunaendelea kukaa nazo. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Proverbs 3:34. Naongea kuhusu loyalty. Proverbs 3:34. Na mimi nikusomee 1 Peter 5:5. 1 Peter 5:5. Yeye uadharau wenye dharau, Mungu ana dharau wenye dharau, lakini wafadhili wanyenyekevu. Lakini wale ambao ni wanyenyekevu huwa anawafadhili. Hiyo the word kufadhili ndio inaitwa blessing. Amen. Whatever they need, huwa ana supply. Kufadhili ni ku, ni kuprovide kizungu. Amen. Amen. So to the humble he provides to them. If God is supplying to you, wewe kosa baraka. Lakini the qualification for God to call to to provide to you is humility. Amen. First Peter 5:5 5. In the same way you who are young submit yourselves to your elders. All you have All, all of you clothe yourselves with humility toward one another because God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. Amen. Mungu akikupatia kibali kwish maneno umepata kila kitu. Lakini ni nini inasema be submissive. Be loyal. Have humility with them. Watakukanyanga lakini familia wa watu maana ndio wamekubebea baraka yako. Amen. Unafikiria ilikuwa rahisi sana wewe Yesu kuita Petero shetani na wanaendelea kukaa pamoja? Wewe unafikiri ilikuwa rahisi? Alijua Jesus is the carrier of my blessing. Kwa hivyo hata akaniita shetani, nitaendelea kuvumiliana na yeye. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Somebody say humility. Humility. Na namba ya, ya nane, be a servant in the kingdom of God, not a boss. Kuwa mtumishi katika ufalme wa Mungu. Kuwa mtu wa kutumika, usikuwe boss. Amen. Kwa Mungu hakuna mtu mkubwa. Ndio unaonanga hii church we don't have that kasumba. Hati watu wakifanya vitu tunajifanya. No, utawapata wakichimba muzingi ya kanisa tunachimba na wao. Amen. Wakichota maji ya kanisa tuna maana hata sisi ni watumishi wa we want to be servants. Amen. Lakini tukija hapa na mind ya boss kuna baraka hatutapata. Aha. Uh-huh. Hallelujah somebody. Amen. Ninajua kuna mtu hapa akipewa kacheo tu hivi. Tutajua hatujui. Akifika hivi anataka tumsalimie na mikono mbili na tunainama. Sijui kiti yake tunapanguza na hii nguo zetu. Sijui kama shuleni mlikuwa mnafanya hivyo kitambo. Mwalimu anakuta akwambia hii kiti iko na uchafu kaa hapo. Fanya fanya hivi. Unampanguzia ndio yeye akae kwa sababu yeye ni boss. Wewe ni chokora. Ah ha walimu siku hizi ndio wana survive na loan. Hawezi <laughs> pata baraka. Amen. Amen. Sasa kwa Mungu kuna watu wako na hiyo mentality wakikuja hapa kwa sababu mimi ndiyo pasta hapa nataka kila kitu mnafanya mimi na kazi yangu ni kuja kusurvive na nguza kiti hivi nione kama umepanguza no mimi nikiona ikiwa na uchafu na napanguza mwenyewe maana hata mimi nataka baraka 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 kwa hivyo kuna watu wamekosa ukalisha baraka because of serving God with boss mentality mm. there is no boss in the kingdom of God amen. we are all servants amen ambia mtu ukitaka kwenda mbali ukitaka kwenda mbali kuwa mtenda kazi kuwa mtenda kazi sio msimamizi wa kazi sio msimamizi wa kazi. Haleluya. Amen. Ukifika hapo ukute ati chachi ni chafu na ama pasta. Nachukua kifagio haraka haraka na piga. Kwani kufagia ni nini? Itanipunguza nini? Hakuna nyama yangu itakata, haitatoa anointing yangu, haitatoa kile Mungu. No, itafanya ku provoke Mungu aseme ah kama amejinyenyekeza hivi na nimempatia hiyo, wacha nimuongeze ingine. Amen. Because he exalts the humble. Haleluya. Ukitaka kuwa mkubwa Yesu alisema hivi wakati walikuwa wanaulizana tukifika biguni Yesu ni nani atakaa eh mkono wako ni ni, ni Yohana Yakobo na Petero walikuwa wanaulizana ni nani atakaa mkono wako akiume akawaambia hata afadhali mkuwe watumwa ama wafanye kazi kuliko mkae huko mbele Bwana Yesu asifiwe amen Yesu siku nyingine akifundisha akasema kwamba ukienda mahali usiende kukaa kiti ya mbele afadhali ukae nyuma uambiwe ukuje mbele kuliko kujipeleka mbele uje kurudishwa nyuma 
alikuwa anafundisha ku be a servant yeye yeah. mwenyewe anakaa na mitume wanafika mahali anawaambia leo sitaki makofi nataka kuwaosha miguu tume hii uchafu yote mmebeba mimi ndio nawaosha leo maana alikuwa a servant leader if you want to lead people be a servant amen hallelujah amen na you can't lead people of god na ukose baraka ina maanisha ni baraka imekufanya uone kabisa huyo ni Mungu mwacha ni nyenyekee ndio aendelee kuniinua amen in the name of jesus hallelujah Number 9 use your gift to benefit others tumia kipawa chako kufaidi wengine we are gifted differently in the church in the kingdom of god naongea kuhusu 10 keys to maintain blessings use your gift to benefit others kama ume benefit, ume umetunukiwa kuwa mwimbaji mzuri train others wakuwe mwimbaji kama wewe amen If you are gifted in as an instrumentalist in the church, usianze kutukulia wewe ndiye hii ati unakuja saa 5 tusikie hivyo. No, teach others ndio hiyo mbegu vile wanaendelea kunenepa, hiyo max inahesabiwa anga kwako. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are a pastor, give others opportunity to to become pastors as you. Amen. 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 Sasa isikue kipawa yako ni ya kutusumbua huku na huku. Hata wewe ndio una ubiring sijui kunafanyika nyi wewe ndio unaimbanga kuna kuwa hivi wewe ndio ukicheza vyombo kuna kuwa hivi sijui wewe ndio ukipanga vitu kuna no give others opportunity teach them on how you became whoever you are amen tumie kipawa chako kuinua wengine kupitia hiyo Mungu atakuwa anapitisha baraka kwa zinakuja kwako apandacho mtu ndicho havu nacho na ndio iko Galatians 6:7 kama kuna kitu unajua pandia wengine Galatians 6:7 msidanganyike Mungu adhiakiwi apandacho mtu ndicho hafu nacho ukijua siri ya kumendain mafuta fundisha mwingine i like the way our father teaches us anawaambia mimi sijafika hapa automatically imeningaribu fasting imeingaribu kuinua madhabao maana anatupandia kile kimemfanya vile alivyo ndio nasi tukue vile alivyo ama tukue zaidi ya hiyo ndio unaona amekalisha baraka anaendelea kupanda tu kupanda tu kupanda tu na hata wewe shuka because he is following the principle na Amen. principle does not does not lie amen somebody say my father my god my father my god help me help me na namba ya mwisho develop a discipline of prayer and fasting amen jifundishe kuwa mtu wa kufunga na kuomba usingoje yange tuambiwe tufunge na tuombe no let it be a discipline prayer nimekuambia it waters the seed of god in us fasting it is the fertilizer amen amen maombi ndiyo maji ya kunyunyizia mbegu ya mungu ndani yetu ambao tumepandiwa na watumishi wa mungu nayo fasting ndiyo fertilizer ndio inafanya hiyo mbegu ikuwe na nguvu there are people who are uh, uh, are strong and we have powerful people the strength and the power of your spirit will be determined by the way you pray and the way you fast kuna mhubiri tu anaweza hubiri vile nimehubiri hapa message nzuri sana lakini ku manifest hiyo kitu for example amehubiri kuhusu watu kupona lakini yeye mwenyewe sasa kupata strength ya kuombea mgonjwa hana hiyo maana a fasting wanaweza siwe Amen. Fast ndio inatufertilize kiroho. Unapata kuwa na strength na power ya kukalisha hizo vitu. Ya kwamba mtu anaweza kuja leo na pepo unamtoa. Mwingine anakuja kesho amjuani unamtoa. Maana fast imekuzalishia anga ambao uwezi ukashishwa na mtu. Imekalisha hiyo baraka mpaka ikapata mizizi ndani yako. Sema my father my god. My father my god. Help me. Help me. to develop a discipline to develop a discipline of prayer and fasting of prayer and fasting hallelujah amen wakati tuna fast ni kama mtu amejenga nyumba na simiti na anaendelea kunyunyizia maji the more ananyunyizia maji the more inakauka zaidi mtu mwingine ataona hii maji anamwangalia mbona inafanya kuwa wete lakini ngoja maji ikauke maji ikauka hiyo ukuta inakuwa ngumu zaidi kwa hivyo fast inaendanga hivyo ukijipata kwa anga fulani ya baraka develop a discipline of prayer and fasting utapata ya kwamba mtu kukutoa kwa hiyo anga si rahisi amen haleluya amen na ndio unaona anga hizi tuna mahali tunafika anga tunaongea na kichwa yani kwa mtu mwingine anaweza ona tuko na kichwa ngumu ama ni maringo tuko nayo lakini ni ile vile tulizalisha hizo vitu 
Apostle alisema hatuwezi kuwa raisi maana tukikuwa raisi hautazalisha vile tulizalisha sure. ni lazima tukufundishe chota maji nyunyizia simiti yako nyunyizia hakuna mtu atakupigia magofi lakini vile unanyunyizia simiti yako na prayer and surf, na, na, na fasting hivyo ndivyo naye kukutoa hapo itakuwa ngumu ndio hmm. unaona mchawi tunakamata na hawezi tufanyia chochote Amen. Mana hii kitu si laisi tulichukua kwa prayer and fasting. Tulianzanga prayer and fasting tukiwa hatuna makanisa na hata tukiwa hakuna mtu anajua kama atakuwa pasta. Naenda katoloni na chapas three days prayer and fasting kavu ukuli chochote ni maji moto peke yake. Uniambie mtu atatoka hapa aanze ati atasema atanipokonya hiyo baraka ya Mungu alinipatia. Haiwezekani. Mm. Na kama ataitoa aende akarudia hizo fasting huko. Mm. Naenda hiyo miaka tulienda na afanye ile kazi ndio watoto yapo sema kuanzia leo kuanzia leo ninakatalia kwa baraka ninakatalia kwa baraka na sita waiondolewa hapo na mtu na sita waiondolewa hapo na mtu katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu hallelujah amen na namba ya mwisho kwa sababu mhubiri mzuri lazima akuwe na point extra have an effective order amen have an effective order kuwa na mababa ambao inafanya kazi si mara mbao ambao unahusika nayo yani you are being associated with it but you don't service it your altar will serve you according to how you service it amen madhabao ya mtu ni kama gari ukiendesha gari na uongezi mafuta itafika mahali ishindwe na safari na hapo itakwamia utakuishia hapo lakini ukitumia gari yako unakaa unaongeza mafuta. Sijui kama kuna mtu hapa maoi beba na gari mkienda safari, mnafika mahali unaona inaingia petrol station. Ngapi ameona hivyo? Ama motorbike tu. Nasikia anakuambia acha niongeze mafuta. Ame sense tukiendelea hivyo tutakwama kwa njia. Sasa kuna watu hawana madhabao. Kama madhabao yao wamefinyilia wakafinyilia kalisha kwama na bado wanakategemea na kamesha, kama shaisha. Endelea kuinua madhabao. Amen. Amen. Maana vitu zako zote vitu zako zote zile uko nazo zinakaanga kwa madhabao yako. Hello somebody. Hello. Kila barako ulionayo iwe ni kuhubiriini niko nayo, iwe ni kuimba niko nayo, iwe ni ku deliverance niko nayo, iwe ni familia niko nayo, iwe ni pesa niko nayo, iwe ni nini niko nayo iko kwa madhabao yangu. Na shetani akitaka kuibomoa atavomoa madhabao hiyo kitu itatoka. Kama ni masomo uko nayo itakalichwa na ile madhabao uko nayo usiseme mimi ni mtoto mdogo jitafutie njizi ya kuwa na madhabao maana masomo yako itakuwa empowered na madhabao yako Haleluya Amen God bless you Mr. Dota Meshak from wherever you are watching us Mungu wa mbinguni awabariki sana Remember tulikuwa tunaongea 10 keys on how to maintain blessing You don't need to lose another blessing after the, listening to this teaching And I believe ya kwamba leo hii Mungu amekunenea These are principles. They are guidelines. They are kingdom patterns. Patterns you cannot avoid for you to become what you want to become. For you to maintain and sustain the blessing that the Lord has given you. You have to follow these patterns. Follow this teaching come and you umeingia sahi tukitoka enda uisikize tena na tena tena. And I want to promise you the next time utaingia katika hii madhabao utatutumia testimony ya kwamba maisha imeanza kubadilika naye Mungu atapokea sifa na utukufu na atakubariki zaidi na zaidi. Nataka nikuombee kama uko hapo kuna kitu unataka tuamini Mungu pamoja. I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus. Nyosha mkono wako pale na uamini Mungu. Uamini Mungu. Hizi vitu nakufundisha ziko ndani yetu. Hatujachukua huku kwa anga. No, ziko ndani yetu. We have worked for them na zimezalika ndani yetu. We can transfer them to other people. So I want to pray for anybody listening and watching to me wherever from every platform you are watching me. Stretch your hands toward the, that screen as I pray for you. Believe God. Kama hujaokoka na kuombea utaokoka kama uko mgonjwa kuna matatizo ndani ya mwili wako itatoka saa hii in the mighty name of Jesus. Rudia maombi haya nyuma yangu. Repeat these prayers after me. Say Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I come before you. I come before you. I love you. I love you. I am a sinner. I am a sinner and I repent of my sins and I repent of my sins forgive me forgive me and write my name and write my name in the book of life in the book of life from today from today I am born again I am born again I am a child of God I'm a child of God Jesus Christ Jesus Christ is Lord is Lord over my life over my life therefore you are defeated Devil, you are defeated. You have no power. You have no power. You have no control. You have no control over my mind. Over my mind. Over my heart. 
over my heart over my spirit over my spirit in the name of jesus in the name of jesus from today from today i am born again i am born again heaven is my home heaven is my own in jesus name in jesus name i pray and i believe i pray and i believe now stretch your hands there as i pray for you father in the mighty name of jesus i pray for every viewer who has followed us from the beginning up to this far i release a blessing upon each and every one of them if there is anyone who is sick i speak healing in the body in the spirit and in the mind in the name of jesus everybody watch me you have been experiencing nightmares uh, during the night I cancel that demonic channel it will never again operate in your life in Jesus mighty name every pain in your body is coming out in the name of Jesus every challenge in the spiritual realm in the social realm in your emotions that challenge is coming to an end right now in the mighty name of Jesus and I speak the blood of Jesus all over your body all over your family all over your business all over your career in Jesus mighty name I release breakthrough after breakthrough may you experience blessing breakthrough in Jesus mighty name I pray and I believe amen and amen, amen. and amen and amen. amen appreciate all of you as all over the world god bless Hallelujah. you so much we will meet again tomorrow at 12:30 p.m. east african time god bless you so much bye bye for now in Jesus name amen